Transform your future by doing a Master of Data Science in Australia. Today, I'll give you my review of the 25 Master of Data Science degrees in Australia. And make sure you watch till the very end where I uncover the best Master of Data Science degree in the whole country. I'm Saman Vaya, a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. In 2021, I did an extensive review of all of the Master of Data Science degrees in Australia. And three years later, we are long overdue for an update. So I've gone ahead and updated the original Notion website that gives you full detail of all of the 25 Master of Data Science degrees. And you'll find a link in the description below so be sure to check it out and feel free to even have it open as you watch this video firstly i'll give you a very general overview of the master of data science degree as well as what you need to think about if you want to pick the right one for you and then finally i'll talk about the best master of data science degree in the whole of australia in 2024 there are 25 master of data science degrees in the whole of australia this is eight more than in 2021. All of the new degrees are from the smaller universities like the University of Canberra, Flinders University and the University of Southern Queensland. All of the degrees are spread across Australia. So you can pick a major city in Australia and you'll find a university to study the Master of Data Science degree. The structure of the data science degree is quite similar across the universities. On average, these degrees take about two years to complete, with some being one year if you've got a previous tech degree. All the degrees consist of three components. The first is the core units, the second are the electives, and the last component is the capstone project or a research project slash thesis. Some degrees like the one in RMIT even offer you to use one semester to do an internship, outside of your university. The core units are a typical mix of statistics, data wrangling, and machine learning. So when you're on the lookout for the perfect Master of Data Science degree for you, you're gonna make sure that you've got a mix of units that cover statistics, computer science, and machine learning. In addition to the core units, you'll also have the opportunity to do electives. This is what you can use to go further and specialize in a field like data engineering, machine learning, or data analysis. There are even some cool electives like bioinformatics and sports analytics, which are offered at La Trobe University and University of Canberra, respectively. Along with the core units and elective units, a lot of the universities offer what's called a capstone project or a research project slash thesis. These are typically longer form assignments that span over the course of a semester or even two semesters. This allows you to customize the type of project you want to work for and some universities even offer collaboration with the industry. Given that your end goal is to find a job after the data science degree, these capstone projects help you set yourself apart when you're applying for data science jobs. These give you something different to talk about and it's also one way for you to customize the project based on the things you like about data science. So my preference would definitely be for a Master of Data Science degree at a university that offers you the opportunity to do something different in addition to the coursework. So examples of universities that offer these capstone projects are UNSW, RMIT, Monash, or University of South Australia. You'll find them all in the Notion website that I've linked below. Finally, if you're interested in doing a PhD after your Master of Data Science degree, then be sure to pick a university that's renowned for its research. And these are mostly the group of eight universities. These universities have plenty of opportunities to pursue a fully funded PhD degree if you're interested in academia. So now in terms of fees, I definitely noticed that since the last time I reviewed these degrees, all of the degrees have gotten a lot more expensive, especially the group of eight universities. The most expensive degree being the University of New South Wales Master of Data Science and Decisions, costing around 54,000 Australian dollars per year. 
The cheapest group of eight university is the degree from University of Western Australia, which has set you back about $46,400 per year. And by far the cheapest university to offer a Master of Data Science degree is the Federation University Australia, located in Ballarat. And the annual cost of this degree is around $28,240. Typically, I would recommend a group of eight university if you can afford it, but they are quite expensive. But at the end of the day, you want to pick an option that fits well into your budget. But some other universities to consider is La Trobe, Deakins or RMIT, because all of their degrees are around 40K per year, but it's a good trade-off between the ranking and the cost given these universities are pretty well ranked for the cost of the degree. All of their degrees are around 40K and they all have pretty decent rankings. Okay, so what's the best Master of Data Science degree in Australia? So this year, the degree from the University of Melbourne is still the best degree that I can find in Australia. And I also ranked them as number one in my previous review video. And there's a very good reason for this because the degree is quite flexible. So you're able to choose units based on your previous bachelor's degree. So let's say you've done more of the computer science units then you don't have to do them again for this degree. You can choose to over-index on statistics or machine learning degree. So that way you can get more for your money out of the degree. And the length of the course also changes based on the prerequisites that you've got earlier. So given the flexibility, this degree is still the number one in Australia. But a close second is the University of Sydney's Master of Data Science degree, given that it is around a year to an year and a half long. And then number three is the University University of Western Australia's Master of Data Science degree because it is the cheapest group of eight university but also because Perth has a much lower cost of living than Sydney and Melbourne. So if you're an international student looking to move to Australia then Perth might also be a city to consider if you enjoy the quiet life and you don't really like the crowded busy places like Sydney or Melbourne. Now that you know where to find the best Master of Data Science degrees in Australia, then you need to also think about whether a Master of Data Science degree is the right next step for you. Typically, I recommend this degree to two category of students. The first is international students looking to move to Australia. And the second is to mid-career transitioners. Data science currently is booming in Australia. Therefore, there's a huge demand for skilled migrant workers. And additionally, a Master of Data Science degree is great for a mid-career transitioner because it provides you with a stable and a credible way to upskill yourself. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, then smash the like button and I'll see you next time.